solar panels, solar infrastructure, solar farming seem expensive now, but probably an incredible ROI regenerating my own electricity. It's the dream, it's the end game. I'm gonna go about it one way or another sooner or later. Bitcoin and crypto mining plus solar energy, they're gonna go hand in hand if they aren't already. And that's what we're digging into today. How can you make mining, right? Something that now is being overtaken by basically millionaires and billionaires accessible to the average person. It's gonna be solar. You're gonna have to become your own energy generator and you may not build the next biggest mining farm, right? But you will be competitive. At some point, if you're able to pay off solar panels and mining rigs, you literally have that money cheat code. It's like my youthful dream from GTA. I'll just hit left down, right up, left down, right up, and bam, I got a million bucks. Beyond just the obvious things, we're gonna touch on how to take the first step into this because that's where I'm at personally in my solar mining journey, as well as a way to sell something that you generate while generating electricity with solar. And, and, and maybe that wasn't word agree, but it's in addition to the electricity. There is another way to literally earn passive income unrelated to selling your electricity, unrelated to mining. And that intrigues me. Let's take a couple snapshots here, recent articles, right? The cost of solar panels range anywhere from $20,000 to $30,000 with the average 6KW, which is a kilowatt solar system, falling around 18.6 grand. It's important to note that these prices are before incentives and tax credits. Uh, this is absolutely substantial, and we'll talk more about that. I was absolutely astonished how much content is out there on solar now, right? Anywhere you go, the top best five solar panels to buy, mistakes I made on my first solar setup, free solar heating and air conditioning is finally here, bankrupt, solar power's finished, a breakthrough in the future of solar. We look at this one, we see best solar panel Eagle 72HMG2 apparently, half so mono perk module basically a 400 watt solar panel uh, we look at the aptos dna from this video 440 watts these are huge solar panels with lower degradation higher efficiency it's interesting and the x factor for this thing is apparently it's most durable and we get hail sometimes in virginia and i got a lot of wildlife on our property so i'm absolutely intrigued by durability looking at efficiency solar panel companies are now in a cutthroat race to the top and brand new solar panel has finally achieved nearly 25 percent efficiency but do you even need to worry about efficiency do you care that much right we look at this one 24.1 efficiency 445 watt solar panel and let's uh let's take a step back right so if you have a 400 watt solar panel and then you have over here a 100 watt solar panel uh so you have the capability to generate more electricity with that footprint right absorbing that solar energy so if i have 400 watt panels or 100 watt panels i would need four times more 100 watt panels right to equal that 400 watt panel it's a linear comparison uh, so if you need one solar array versus four solar arrays, depending on how much juice you want or need to produce, uh, it's absolutely substantial. This is incredibly more relevant too if you don't have like a yard where you could put a solar array, if you have a small roof, right? Let's say like a townhouse that wants solar, right? Those higher efficiency, higher density solar panels are absolute game changers. Previously, we posted a video on DeVoscoin. By the way, what's up? I'm Bosk. Uh, you're on the Voscoin YouTube channel. Subscribe if you like this content and subscribe if you don't. Okay, I mean, what else am I supposed to say? Uh, we did a breakdown and basically you need 35 solar panels at 400 watts per panel to power a miner, right? 
and we looked at different systems and how that breaks down and basically to power a miner 24 seven and a few other things along the way, I was gonna need a 15 kilowatt hour system, which is more than two times the average system in the USA. This was estimated to cost about 42 grand, but after tax credits, that comes all the way down to $31,000. That is a huge decrease. Uh, I, I'm, I'm happy to hear it, I'm about it. There's been so much development in solar. There's such a race to build solar, to advance solar, to sell solar. We're seeing an insane amount of these systems uh, from these companies that are like, hey, we've got this battery and some panels you throw up, go camping with it. We've seen so many of those launch recently. It's, it's kind of weird. Uh, but I have nothing to do with Renogy here. Uh, I'm not saying their panels are better, but we look, we look at this comparison, right? They have conventional, right? Uh, potential hotspots, accidental shading. And we look at how they're breaking down their half cell technology, right? Splitting that workload in half, better resistance to hot spotting. And then also, you know, if you have that shaded area, it's not impacting as much of the cell percentage uh, and quantity there. Uh, so I'm not saying these are great or whatever. I'm just bringing this up as a quick note to differentiate some of the solar technology. Not all solar panels are the same or even close. And I'm not saying those are the best. I'm not saying they're not, right? I got no affiliation. So we look at Bitcoin mining energy sources now. 5% uh, is apparently uh, related to solar here in uh, 2024. Be careful when you're looking up information on basically solar powering your Bitcoin mining rigs and other things because some articles are just completely out of the loop talking about GPUs. You haven't been able to GPU mine, right? Mine Bitcoin with graphics cards in many, many years. You could indirectly, uh, but that's not clearly stated here. And it's just, uh, yeah, I, I see that. And I'm like, okay, next article. Let me put it into perspective here how much cheaper panels get when you're buying them by bulk. This is just something I pulled up. I'm not saying these are great or worth it or whatever. And this isn't, you know, ordering container and container and container bulk level, right? But we look at this, we see 810 panels. That's a lot of panels. Big panels too, 385 watt panels, okay? These are coming in at $61 a panel. Obviously there's some other charges that could be associated, right? We throw in a little bit of tax, we got a shipping fee, and let's just say, you know, it comes out to like 80 bucks a panel. To put that into perspective, we go and order one panel off of Amazon, 400 watt, $400, that's $1 per watt, that's crazy. I am buying them over here, or could be buying them, I should say, right, for, like less than 25% of that price point. And that is one of the key reasons where you see all these companies showing up, hey, you want solar, this, that, whatever. And they're like, oh, we got half the price of the panels on Amazon. Well, of course you do, you bought in bulk. Uh, not hating on them or whatever, but it's just something to mention here. So let's look at tax credits, right? We're looking at tax credits for solar. I'm in the state of Virginia. It varies by state, but most states are seeing 25% plus tax credits for solar still. Uh, we look at solar panels, solar water heaters, small wind turbines, among other things, right? This 30% tax credit is freaking huge, all right? They plan to decrease these things moving in the future unless they're renewed. Uh, so we'll see, talking about 26% in 2033, uh, TBD, but you know, we, we got we got time and that 4% is not going to make or break most operations, but I'm obviously looking to get my biggest reductions possible for obvious reasons. Uh, we look at state solar incentives, and, and this one's very interesting about Virginia, uh, and you may have something similar uh, in your state. Uh, so Virginia offers two primary incentives for solar energy, right? A power property tax exemption, that's cool, F property tax. Uh, and then we also have solar renewable energy certificates, and this is what I mentioned earlier. These SRECs are financial incentives for generating clean electricity. Okay, what, what, what is that though? One SREC for every 1,000 kilowatt hour generated sells for 50 to 70, okay? Uh, so this is interesting. A renewable energy credit, a REC, is a credit earned by generating 1,000 kilowatt hours of renewable energy 
uh, right? Or one megawatt from solar, wind, hydropower, geothermal, whatever. A solar system owner, you can sell them to your utility company to help them meet their RPS requirement, right? And if the utility doesn't purchase enough credits to meet the government set standard, they'll have to pay a fine. And this all comes back to basically, what do you do with your electricity, right? Do you try to sell it back at face value, right? Or at a reduced rate to your electric company? Do you sell it back to the electric company or someone, someone else using a broker, uh, for example, uh, using an SREC? Or are you looking to utilize all of your excess electricity for, say, a mining operation? And that's where it's the most interesting to me. So I'd love to benefit uh, from selling electric at high prices to the electric companies like they've done to me my whole life. I'd love to cash in on SREX, right? Generating along the way potentially. Uh, but furthermore, I'm the most interested in utilizing this electricity to basically power my own Bitcoin and crypto mining operation to earn easy passive income with my own electricity. I am also interested in using a battery system to not have a generator on my house when the power goes out. That is a frequent problem where I live. Not too frequent, but you know, it's, you know, it happens frequently enough. I need, I, I would need and would like a backup system here. Uh, the point though, okay, is I can ditch the generator. Uh, that's a gas engine. Uh, I'm not, I got enough gas engines in my life. Uh, so it has that utility, but I only want batteries enough to basically keep my home afloat and not enough batteries to manage a whole mining operation. That is huge. Okay. So then at that point, right, I want enough excess solar to power mining rigs. You know, the first goal is simple power, power one rig, power two rigs, power three rigs, right? And just keep building from there until ideally my whole mining operation is solar powered. And with how expensive mining rigs have gotten and how I personally don't think electricity is ever going to get any cheaper. I mean, when does anything get ever, ever get cheaper in life? Uh, we look at all the electric cars, more and more things are just using electricity. We kind of went past that era where like, oh, we're moving to LEDs and now there's so much more efficiency to like, okay, now like everything uses electricity, right? We're using electric power tools. You Maybe you should get an electric car. Oh, how about an electric mower, an electric ATV? Literally everything is sucking up kilowatt hours. I need to start making some. Uh, so I want to you know, be able to power all those things. Uh, I have a gator, you know, so we've got like about 100 acres out here on the farm, uh, and I use a gator all the time. And uh, I would love if that was electric, and that would be a way I could replace having to go out and get fuel and use that, you know, uh, gasoline fuel, replace that with basically electric fuel. Uh, beyond that, I'd love to reuse heat and utilize the electricity that I'm generating here, right, to heat my pool. You may say, if you super cool and subscribe to the Vosquin YouTube channel. Vosk, I didn't know you had a pool. I don't. But I want one. <laughs> so, you know, just dream it, just dream. But I like to set up the system so, you know, I can do that when hopefully that day comes eventually. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's the bottom line is I think the sooner the better with solar. Like I don't plan to ever move, so I don't I don't care of this, you know, would potentially help the future owner, this, that, whatever. Like I'm I'm trying to get my money back that I put in to get this thing up and running and operational. Right? I want to break even and then I'm looking to get a sweet ROI. I want to return on my investment. I want these panels to kill it for years and years and years. I wish the hope and hope decades, right? And I'm just generating my own juice. And then in 10 years everything everyone's gonna be paying like 20 cents per kilowatt hour i'll be laughing i'll be laughing smiling happy making my own juice my own electricity for what is essentially zero cents per kilowatt hour because everything's paid off right you pay off the mining rigs you pay off the solar panels and my end game my dream is to have a real life money cheat code and i personally think that bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are so much better and more valuable than to traditional money, fiat currencies, right? Like the US dollar that just gets inflated to all hell. Oh yeah, I'm looking for my way out. I love plan B. By the way, if you work in the solar industry or you have your own system or you have anything that you'd like to share, things you wish you knew before you got into solar or you have explored or even built out a commercial level solar farm for mining, please, I would love to hear from you. 
Uh, you can connect with us on social media or go to the about section on YouTube and uh, grab the email from there. And of course, you know, just tag me in our Discord server. Seriously, I would love to download any information and experience you'd be willing to share with me. You've seen the car, and this is my dog, Tails. She's my beautiful aunt, Tails. <laughs> I woke her up. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're a good girl, baby. Ruin 10 seconds of Tails on every video. Let's close this thing out in style with that fluffy pup. Thanks for tuning in. This is just a little bit of a refresher and crash course on solar. I'm going to continue to pushing uh, deeper into this. Uh, maybe this will start as the beginning of a new playlist, uh, but it's a lot to review. It's a lot to understand. Um, and I just thought that this would be a good fun primer to kind of work through this uh, kind of like level one research and see where we can take this from there. Uh, so I will see you. Why am I pointing with the, why do I always point with the pinky? You hang loose, dude. See you later. Bye. Hey, you want to buy a mining rig? Do you want a pretty good price on it and pretty fast shipping? Then you may be looking for ASIC Marketplace. Click our link in the video description below to not only support our channel, but support yourself with the coupon code we've got right next to it.